Hi guys, welcome to Tasty Kitchen. My name is Taya, if you don't know me, and I am uh, really excited about today's recipe. I did a recent poll on my Instagram stories for burgers because it is barbecue season. This is not an actual barbecue recipe because we're not grilling it. So the poll was for a vegetarian patty or a burger, and most people voted for a meat burger. So I decided I was going to show you guys how to do a proper smash burger. Now, if you're not familiar with a smash burger, probably one of your most popular if you've been to any chains like Five Guys, Shake Shack, or Smash Burger. A smash burger essentially is a patty that you smash and, uh, and cook. It uh, gives it nice crispiness on it, good crunch, but yeah. Smash burger, it's all the rage right now. It's super popular. So we're gonna go through a few very simple tips on how you can make a very delicious burger. Some of these might surprise you, so I'm going to educate you on the burger patty. So here we go. First things first, you want beef that has 80% lean, 20% fat. Any more fat than 20% is just gonna render down and you're gonna lose all the juiciness of the fat. The perfect meat, in my opinion, is chuck, ground chuck. So um, we went to the grocery store, they didn't have ground chuck, so we asked them to grind it, because that's what's gonna give you the best, uh, the best bit. Best, best amount, best beef. I don't know, it's the best. Ground your own meat. I don't have a meat grinder, it's on my list. If you go to your local butcher or if you go to a grocery store and they have chuck there, they will grind it in the back for you, no big deal, because ground beef is like miscellaneous at the grocery store, you don't even know. <laughs> okay. So we have our ground chuck here. Now, a lot of people have recipes probably from their mother or their grandmother where they make beef patties and there's so much filler in it. There's eggs, there's breadcrumbs, there's seasoning, there's onions, there's all sorts of things. A true burger should not have any of this. It's strictly just the beef, right? Do not overwork the beef patty. This is another tip for you. The more you work it, the more dense and kind of like spongy it's gonna be. You need to have about a four ounces of burger patty. Now, this is not very big for some, but we're smashing it. So it's gonna be a nice thinner patty like you see at all those chains. And uh, if you want to have a bur burger, big burger, <laughs> you can double, like double stack it like they do then. We're gonna measure out four ounce patties here. And like I mentioned, you do not want to mix or squish or do anything with it, not even seasoning. And you're gonna think that's weird, but I'll tell you why later. But this is about four ounces. And we're just gonna put it on a uh, tray or a plate, just like that. So we're not squishing it, we're not forming it into a patty. It's just gonna be, oh, that was exactly four ounces, huh? Huh, it's like I've been doing this for a while. And studies show that when your burger has those crunchy bits in it, it tastes more meaty. It's facts. So we're gonna measure these out and then I will show you the next step. So we've measured out six patties for now and we're gonna put this to the side just briefly here. We've got a cast iron skillet, which is what you wanna cook your burgers in. This holds the heat well and you wanna be able to make the pan super hot. That's how we make a good smash burger. So right now I just have it on medium high because the first thing you wanna do is toast your buns. To make a good smash burger, you should have either a brioche or a potato bun. So a uh, potato bun, just so you guys know, is just it just has a little bit of mashed potato in it, but it makes it more like squishy. And we're just going to quickly butter these and toast them up. A couple other things you're gonna need for a smash burger. You're gonna need something heavy duty to smash but this is good for flipping. This is good for squishing or something similar. So you want something that's heavy duty, preferably metal if you have it, but I just have this guy who, uh, you know, it's a wooden thing, good for squishing things. Uh, and this again is good for flipping and we will talk about that a little bit later, but you do need to have these in order to make a proper smash burger. Okay, so our buns are toasted. Now this is where we're gonna start smashing our burgers. So we have, like I said, you have not touched these. We have not worked them over. 
Just before they go into the pan, you wanna season them generously with some salt. The reason why you don't salt them before is because it actually causes it to be more dense and spongy, which we do not want. Typically, you do like to salt far in advance because they do break down connective tissue and that causes it to be more tender. It also brings out some of the moisture. It's a very beautiful thing. But with burgers, you really don't want to do that. We like a loose patty, and the way you can do a loose patty is by not salting until the very last minute. You're going to place in the pan, good sizzle, and you want to squish it down. People are like, well, if you squish the meat, then, then all the juices fall out. Well, that's not true, because what happens is when the meat is cold, the fat is still solid. So when you squish it down, it's not going to leak out anywhere. But you have to do it right away, and you only have to do it on one side. So as soon as you put it in the pan, you need to squish it down because the fat is still solid. And as it cooks, that's when the fat starts to render and liquefies. That's when you don't want to squish it down. You should not squish it any time other than the first 30 seconds that you put that down. And see all these little bits here? Camera guy, come in. This is what's gonna get nice and crispy. So we're gonna I think I, I didn't put anything on the, hopefully it doesn't stick. Oh, smell. It smells delicious. You can add a little bit more seasoning here if you want. Once you start seeing this liquid here that's coming up off the top, that is the fat that's rendering and pushing up out of the burger. That's gonna be kind of an indicator of when you should start to flip your burger. And the way you wanna flip your burger is with a very good, very thin metal spatula and you don't flip this way, you actually flip this way. And that'll make sure that you get all the crustiness off the bottom of the, of the pan. That crispiness on that burger is exactly what we're looking for. You don't, you don't need to cook it very long. This is where you're gonna add your cheese. Now, you can say what you will, but the American cheese slice is where it's at. You just wanna add it just enough until it melts. Look how easy that was, huh? I mean, why do people even mix a bunch of stuff? There shouldn't be any filler in it. It just takes so much time. Honestly, just take your meat, put it on, smash it. You don't even have to form a patty. We're gonna stack them up. Okay, sure. It's the same thing they do at McDonald's. It's the same thing they do at Smashburger. It's the same thing. It's freaking secret sauce, okay? It's not secret sauce anymore because everyone does it. It's a special sauce that's just mayonnaise, mustard, and ketchup with a little bit of hot sauce. And then you can also add some sweet relish if you want. So we're going to sauce it up. And if you like it animal style, you sauce it a lot. I like my sauce. And then we, we're not going crazy with the toppings here. We're doing a classic. Put my onion on first on the bottom. We're gonna add our batty. Okay, I like tomato, Texan does not. I've got some dill pickle, again, optional. And, uh, and then we've got some lettuce. Now you can do shredded lettuce if you want to, but I like the, the classic. And bacon. Again, bacon, you don't have to add bacon. And we're gonna slice it. I'm telling you, once you eat one of these burgers, you're never gonna go back. It's the best. Look at that. Perfect burger. Do you see it? And you have all these little crispy bits too. This is, I'm not even joking, the best burger you'll ever have. In and out, what? This literally tastes like the same thing you would get, but better because you made it. Oh my God. Oh my God, I just made the best burger of life. I'm not even joking, try a bite of this. I don't know what to tell you. If you want people to come to your house and say like, this is the best burger ever, then you should make these. No joke, you will get every, you'll get 10 points on all the scores. Best burger. Perfectly seasoned. Anyways, this is my smash burger recipe. Try it out this summer. Try it out tomorrow. It's still technically spring. Literally amazing. Hope you enjoy guys. Thank you. Mm. We really gotta try those. Seriously that good.